Let us now look at example 5. The question here is ABCD is a quadrilateral in which diagonal BD is 64 centimeters. AL is perpendicular to BD and CM is also perpendicular to BD such that AL is 13.2 centimeters and CM is 16.8 centimeters. The area of the quadrilateral ABCD in square centimeters is. So basically we need to find out the area of the quadrilateral ABCD from this given information and there's a whole lot of information given here right we have the length of the diagonal BD we have to construct AL and CM perpendicular to BD lengths of AL and CM have also been given so let's try and draw this uh, figure here and understand what can be done to get the area so ABCD is a quadrilateral now what type of quadrilateral has not been given so you can take any uh, shape there it should be basically a four-sided figure right a four-sided closed figure so let's let's draw some random shape here right uh, let's say this is the quadrilateral right a b c and d right so that's the quadrilateral there you can also take a rectangle to keep it simple or a parallelogram to keep it simple but i'm just trying to take a kind of trapezium or a random quadrilateral there four sided figure so that you know how to approach even with a random figure for such ones right now BD is the diagonal and the length is 64. So let's construct the diagonal here BD. The length is given as 64. All right. Then it says AL is perpendicular to BD. Now A is the point here. AL is perpendicular to BD. So basically we have to drop a perpendicular from the point A. And the point where it meets the diagonal BD is L. So let's draw that. It is perpendicular, right? So angle made should be 90 degrees. So let's say this is uh, L. This is the point L. Okay. This angle is 90 degrees, right? It is perpendicular to BD. And similarly, CM is also perpendicular to BD. So from the point C also, we need to drop a perpendicular. So let's say it is this point here, right? M, point M. And this angle also is 90 degrees. What else is given? The diamond, uh, the lens here, AL 13.2. So this basically is 13.2 and CM is 16.8. So CM, this is 16.8. Of course, visually this looks longer, but you know, since we have taken a random uh, shape there, uh, you may not find it to be appropriate. But if you draw a proper figure, you will find it to be, uh, you know, matching with the given length. There. But that doesn't matter. It's all about, uh, you know, uh, approach being correct there. All right. So, AL 13.2, CM 16.8. And now we need to find out the area of the quadrilateral. Now, if you really look at this uh, quadrilateral ABCD, it is divided into two halves, right? One is this triangle ABD. And the other is the triangle uh, BCD. All right. So we can say ABCD, the area of the quadrilateral ABCD is equal to area of triangle ABD, triangle ABD plus the triangle BCD, right? BCD. All right. Or CPD. Now you know how to get the area of a triangle. What is the area of a triangle? Half into base into height. So if you look at the triangle ABD, let's say the base is BD, right? And since this is a perpendicular, right from one vertex you have dropped a perpendicular on the base so that uh, length becomes the height yes or no so this is like an inverted triangle the base is bd and the height is 13.2 right the height is al right now we know the area of triangle is half into base into height so for triangle abd we can see the area is half into the base is bd what is the length of bd 64 it is given here right so 64 into the height is this perpendicular which is 13.2 Similarly, area of the triangle BCD, right, BCD, this is the base BD again, height is 16.8, right, perpendicular from the top vertex there. So half into base into height, so this is half into base is 64 and the height is 16.8. That's it, simplify this to get the required answer. So the question that actually looks to be lengthy and complicated when you just throw a glance at it is very simple. Divide the quadrilateral into two halves, right, not two halves, two parts I should say. One part is a triangle, the other part is also a triangle here. And using the general formula, that is half into base into height for the area of triangle, you can find the required answer. So if you take uh, half and 64 common here, or this is 32 and this here is 32. So if you take 32 common, what are we left with? 13.2 plus 16.8. Now 13.2 and 16.8 is 30. 32 into 30 will be 960. So the answer for this question has to be option D, 960 square centimeters.